Hello once again YouTube, it is Jersey X Entertainment back in, and today I'm doing a top 5, and actually this is very different from my normal top 5 with the inventions. This one is actually a top 5 best drops you can get in Call of Duty Zombies. Now, this, like I said, this is very different than my usual top 5. Okay, coming in at our number 5 spot, we have the nuke. Now, before you all say, Drizzy, you're an idiot. The nuke is not good, and I'm here to say it's not half bad. If maybe, maybe someone got down, and you just need a break in the zombies to revive them. I find myself in this instance a lot. Like I mean a lot. So maybe you just need a break to help revive someone, or maybe you just need a break in general. A good 10, 10, 15 seconds to just refresh and get just calm, calm things down for just a couple seconds to get get a hold of things again. I find I need these a lot. And a nuke would really help with that. I mean, yeah, of course, we all know 400 points for a whole horde of zombies is not very good at all. But when you're in the later rounds, it's not so bad. And maybe up in the later rounds, you'd like I said, you just need a break to revive someone, or you just need a quick short break in general. So that's why it's at number five, and that is my reason for putting it in this. All right, coming in at number four, we have the death machine now this thing is an absolute beast and the only reason I didn't put it higher up on the list is because I think there are a few things that are better than it how uh, you'll see those later on in the video but the death machine is an absolute beast it can rip through hordes and I mean hordes you have a death machine and it'll just rip through anything it'll rip through a panzer hordes <laughs> special zombies spiders anything anything at all it'll get its job done and it does last for quite a while and I really like it it can help you get out of a lot of situations if you have one in that instance I find myself enjoying it quite a lot and that there is my reason for putting it in the number four spot all right coming in at number three we have the bonfire sale now I find myself and when I play 5, I find myself enjoying the Bonfire Cell a lot if I get it. Now, a lot of people that I play with in like the later Call of Duties, like Black Ops 3 or such, I mention Bonfire their Cell, and they're all like, What? What? You're an idiot. It's called Fire Cell, sir. And I'm like, No, no. It's Bonfire Cell. Now, a lot of people... I, I, I'm actually surprised that a lot of people didn't know more about this. The Bonfire Cell is only featured in 5 by killing the Pentagon Thief. And when you kill the Pentagon Thief, if he didn't take anyone's weapon, he will drop a little perk, a little pack punch machine. And you can pick that up and it links all the teleporters to the pack punch machine and makes pack punch only cost 1,000 points. 1,000 points? That's crazy. You can get a pack punch weapon on round three. That is uh, that is awesome. Well, not round three, like round six or so. But still, that's incredible and very useful. And I just think that's really awesome. And that's why it comes in at number three. All right, coming in at the number two spot, we have the insta-kill. Now, the insta-kill can get you out of so many situations. Rather, it be round one, ten, twenty... 200 whatever round it is it is a one hit kill for anything well not anything for the zombies it is a one hit kill for the zombies and it is so so useful you can knife them shoot them with a pistol throw an rpg at them whatever punch them right in the face it is a one hit kill no matter what you use and i find myself finding <laughs> i find myself using it and finding a lot of help out of it so much it helps help me out of so many different situations and even if you're trying to revive someone and they're down they can shoot their pistol at the zombies around you and give you a chance to revive them so useful so useful and that's why it comes in at my number two spot all right coming in at the number one spot what else could it be none other than max ammo yes yes max ammo what could it be it is the max ammo we all love the max ammo. It is so, so helpful. It might not help you in ways of, like, assistance of killing things faster, but you need max ammo. Like, if you have a pack-a-punched LSAT or a pack-a-punched Dingo or whatever, you don't want to give that up. 
You don't want to lose that. Like it, that's, that's like luck and the 5,000 points down the drain. You don't want to just go hit the box for a new weapon. No, you want ammo for it. And the max ammo is always helpful. Always helpful. There's never an instance that it's not. You can always use more ammo anytime, any place. And depending on what weapon you have, it could be extremely useful. If I have a staff on Origins and it's completely out of ammo, that's not useful to me. But if I get that ammo, I can wipe out hordes. I can wipe out hordes upon hordes. And I don't know what much more I need to say about this. It is, it is so useful. The max ammo is so very helpful. Alright everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this top 5. It is very different than my last few top 5, or top 3s I mean. But I really hope that you did enjoy it. I was a lot, it was a lot of fun to make. I hope that I can make more of it. And if you do want to see more, please, please, I ask that you hit that like button. It really gives me confidence that you really do enjoy what I'm seeing. And I really hope to make more of these. But um, anyway, like I said, if you did enjoy this video, please, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. This has been Drizzy X Entertainment. I hope that you enjoy the video. I hope that you have a great day or a night, wherever you may be. Until next time, I'm out.